Let's get down to business. Oh, we have a third one. Dead man's port. Let's do Meinhof. Jim, refugee populations from across the sector have been using Meinhof as a staging point. But with so many people in close proximity, an epidemic of some kind has started sweeping through the camps. Please, my people need help. We've got to do something before it's too late. Now that we have a planetary fortress, I believe defending this will be much simpler than before. So what are we looking at, Doc? Our readings indicate some kind of bio-infestation is spreading through the refugee camps. Even the buildings are being covered by it. I've seen this kind of thing before. It's a Zerg virus. All we can do is burn it out. Every one of those infested buildings has to be destroyed. But where are all the people? Oh, no. Those things are infested refugees? This is a nightmare. Yeah. This ain't good at all. It looks like they burrow underground by day and emerge only at night. The virus must make them vulnerable to the high UV output of Meinhof's star. Then we'll hit the infested buildings by day and protect our base at night. Don't worry, Doc. We'll contain this thing. Alright, guys. Remember, we've got the uh, planetary fortress for this mission particularly. So we're going to take the time right now and we're going to set one up. Um, We will start, this is where we learn to be turtle terrians. So we're going to take that to extremes, essentially, in this mission. We're also going to try, there is a, an expansion up here. We're going to try to get there. I want a perimeter set and some bunkers in place now. You going sweet on that doctor lady, Jimmy? Can't see why else we'd keep fighting for these damn dirt farmers. By the numbers, boy. SCV ready. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Ooh, that ain't good. Let's see. Ah, you scared me! SCV ready. Move it! Yes, sir! Oh! Woohoo! Overtime! Bad news! Ah, you scared me! Now we gotta hold out till sunrise. Brace yourselves. This could get ugly. Hmm. I think I'll put it there. Nope. You gotta go in here. Then you two will jump, jump through. By the number. Standing by. You rang. You guys will be, be up good. here. Stay in the rear with Please state the nature. Big job, huh? Huh? What's going on? So we need uh, some more gas, and we need an engineering bay. So right now, let's... Let's send this up here to repair. This first night ought to be a little bit more simple because they're just introducing you to the mechanic. Let's get a little bit more gas going here. We definitely need to keep building. We don't need the gas. Which is there we go. Plenty for a planetary fortress. It'll take. 50 seconds to build. I mean, I have uh, by the time it gets there. Oh boy. Yeah. Hey, 
hot shot. I got schematics to build them hellions you saw in Marsara. Should be good down there. <laughs> All right, the planetary fortress is up and running. I'll save up another 400. I'm oh, saving up for a hundred right now to build another thing. So I'm not just wasting my, uh, my money. And we got a free factory. So at the end of this night, we'll build it. So that we'll build it. I can't build here. I'll add on Sun's coming up. just one. we got to hold on a little longer. This better be good. He's already got 15, 4, and 22. It's just ridiculous. When uh, when the sun comes up, we'll salvage both of these. Put a command center down in a pretty good place here. Set up some marauders. Rise and shine, boys. Now it's our time to do some damage. So we want to go top right. We need to really clear out this secondary base so we can might be able to build another. Uh, Is that some sort of nest? You better destroy it. I don't. It's a FCB ready. Yeah, we wanna, there are minerals up here in the top right. We could really use from the base to just quicken this mission. Because we can do it on one base, I'm pretty sure. But it would just make everything so much quicker if we uh, made some decent... You know what? We need some more bunkers. Maybe up here? Is there enough room? No. We'll build one right here. Yeah, whatever. Okay, build one. Right My goose is getting cooked. Go ahead. Nightfall in thirty seconds. Guys, back here. Sure, just say where. Say the word. So we didn't exactly clean this out, but we you will on the next guards. on the next night. They'll be coming again soon. My attention. Standing by. Six fuel. Go ahead. Scans are picking up a unique Zerg bio signature. It appears to be a burrowing creature that is underground during the day and emerges only at night. Sir, if you these kill one of those creatures, and all of these will definitely slow down the Zerg enough that something. we can, uh, that the planetary fortress can take them out relatively easily. We'll turn up the sound just a little bit more. Oh, I forgot completely about this. <laughs> we can load up while still on the ground. We'll just unload like that. If they're ever on the other side, we can uh, close. We need repair that team. Then we'll just put them on the other side there. And you can go in here and we'll start. Building oh. up another set of, Not enough minerals. of command centers right here. Base is under attack. This be good. Marines. Oh, hell, Jimmy. oh man, man. Uh, we've been supply block for like a minute and a half, haven't we? Oh. So Not enough minerals. Forgot all about that. Go ahead. Standing by. In 
166 kills already. Marauders are doing a great job at slowing everything down. Don't forget, you have to be back by dark. In the rear with the gear. Ready to raise some hell. I'm going. Back. Oh. You did, ain't you? Let's go. Light it up. I'm waiting. Been waiting on you. Orders received. Big job. Ah, you scared me. Go ahead. Ah! You scared me! Huh? Bad news? Be in the rear with the gear. What's going on? Armed and ready. Save it. Looks like this area is secure. Keep we'll build a more production stop stuff over here, but until then, we need to really What's going on? get things building. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Minerals. 
So, I know there's a little bit of a lull, and we've got way too much gas, so we can pull these guys out of gas for a while. What's going on? In the rear. Uh, Big job. Not really so much, because I know that my defenses are pretty damn awesome, to be totally frank with you. Bad news. So, now that we've got everything starting to build, you can get back here. Of course it's under attack. It's always under attack. Not enough minerals. Yes, sir. Base is under attack. Upgrade complete. We hear you. Ah! You scared me! Yeah, whatever. Base is under attack. <laughs> They've broken through the south barricade. Get some troops down there now. You know, oh, shit. I think I saw this in a movie once. What is that thing? Was it human? Daybreak in 30 seconds. Yeah, I have plenty of time to build another planetary fortress after this. Oh man, I should have been attacking this whole time. Now we have our two bases set up, we should be, be absolutely okay from here on out. And now it's just a matter of tearing everything down. Nightfall in 30 seconds. like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. Well, uh... You should set some guards. They'll be coming again build soon. Build a few more things. Who wants uh, Arm by the numbers. Upgrade complete. Don't okay. leave me hanging. You. Get heavy. Get heavy. Ready to raise some hell. Yes, sir. Base is under attack. Go on. Base be is good. under attack. Huh? What's going on? Hey, way. Coming through. Ready to raise me so about to get heavy. I'm going. So we're building up a pretty decent force, and we can start pushing out at night. Build a couple more things, and uh, definitely build 
another couple of production facilities here. Since we got plenty of money, let's put some of these back in here. Yes, that's... Bad news? Big job, huh? What's going on? The doctor is in. You want a piece of me, boy? The doctor is in. Aye, aye, sir. Now we have a big enough army, we can definitely go take out some stuff. Blow to their numbers, Jim. You're doing great. The doctor is in. Affirmative. It's a
just want to stress the fact that when you build a the planetary, what this mission would be like without the planetary fortress. If we didn't have the fortress, we'd have to bunker all the time. And granted, we could just empty all the bunkers during daytime and then just keep attacking things during the entire daytime. But it would require so much more micromanagement when we come back that we may not get all our fences set up in time. And those big, fat abominations, when they come by, they hit really hard. So having this planetary fortress in there really did help defeat them because even though we couldn't research hardened materials and give them plus two armor, they have a ton of hit points. And so they helped out with just the sheer turtle miss of our base. It's very slowly taking out everything. Much quicker since we're already here for the daytime. Oh, that medic is out of energy. This mission is, is a ton of fun, and I feel you know, really strong that getting planetary fortresses beforehand completely helps in this mission. And we have two bases also. We just have so much more production facilities going at the same time. We can max earlier if you really want to wait for max, or you can just go out early and, and pick off places a little bit more sniping style during the daylight, during the nighttime. But you saw how many abominations came out towards the end of the game. When that second, when that southern side opens up, we're going to have a whole lot of problems if uh, we didn't have planetary fortresses there. And that just one bunker of marauders probably could have, could be two bunkers, but we'll see what happens really. <laughs> so 33 kills. And when, we'll see what happens when, when I don't put two bunkers there. But the marauders completely slow everything down for the planetary fortresses. And you saw the effectiveness of one planetary fortress at a, at a small choke and two at a big choke. If we set up a fire bat and marauder bunker like we did at this northern area, it might have been a, it might be a little different uh, setup. But you see that the planetary fortresses are just taking everything out simultaneously. It's not really such a big deal for the smaller units. It's the abominations that slow everything down. When the planetaries target them, it's like an ultralisk. All the zerglings and all the zealots. Or, or all the circlings and broodlings have plenty of time to attack when the AI is attacking a large unit because it just takes forever for a planetary fortress to kill an abolish or an ultralisk. Apologies for the yawning. Hope you, I hope you enjoy watching this mission because it is such a fun one to play even if it is rather monotonous after a time you just microing and practicing stutter stepping during the night time and uh, wearing out your medics so that their energy doesn't ever recharge. But the thing about the medics is we got that heal upgrade, so they take even less time to heal, and they use less energy to heal, so they can heal an entire group of marines or, or marauders and fire bats at an enormous efficiency rate. If we didn't have that, we'd have to bulk up on, medivet, on medics, which would completely ruin our army ratio, etc. So it's like having, you know, a hundred marauders. It's not really going to help except against only armored armored units. So you have a composition and having less medics gives us plenty of room for more attack units. Victory is ours. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Sorry for the rather lull in speech right now, but you can see that having two bases really did speed this up. Uh, I think it did at least. We can just remax if there were ever a real issue, but I don't you know with STEM they can do about gonna be coming out of the going on right now. Minute now. If we took this out, we could have you know, five mineral patches, but we didn't really need it, even on group one. See how quickly things are melting into this bio ball. I 
base is completely impervious. This thing has 835 kills, this one has 470, this one 150 apiece. Looks like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. We only need to do at least one more day. Just so that we can kill the other investors in our remaining reserve research. I was out of the choke point, and they had such a better concave right now, so we'll bring it back a little bit and then put them in the concave, in the choke point. Oh my god, they broke through. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm gonna leave these I'll until the next night. On your map. What? The next investor will be right here.
additional supply depot is required. We could use some help here. Go ahead. Ah, in the rear. Huh? Bad news. Base is under attack. Go, go, go! Additional supply depot is required. Gateway. Coming through. Should be it. Yeah. You did it, Jim. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Now I've got to get my people somewhere safe. Ain't gonna be so easy, darling. This whole sector's crawling with Zerg. There's got to be somewhere out there the aliens haven't touched. Some undiscovered paradise waiting just for us. <laughs> 